Hi, what's up, y'all? Sick fan here. As you can see by the title of today's video, I've made a guide on how to figure out what position you belong at in NBA 2K22 Next Gen Pro Am. So, as you can see, I have a whole graphic on this screen right here. We have things like stick skill, communication, leadership, energy slash being a hype man, general 2K IQ, and composure listed as our category. So we have six of them right here, the six pillars. <laughs> so now we have the stars dedicated to how important it is out of five. So it's either one, two, three, four, or five. Simple as that. So I hope you all enjoy. If you do, for the drop a like, sub if you're new, turn on the notice, all that good stuff. And like always, try us one to 500 likes. All right, so I was going to reveal these one at a time, but then I realized how lame it would look if I was only showcasing one category at a time or to have the whole thing covered up and people wouldn't want to see that when they click on the video. So anyway, we have all these displayed. If you wanted to just read all this stuff and see what I think about, that's totally up to you. But I'm going to go ahead and talk about them category by category. So we're going to talk about stick skill first and work our way all the way to the right right here. And just a common theme that you're going to see in this video. We have the small forward and the power forward having a lot of similarities. These are both lockdown positions, in my opinion. One is a hedge guy, one is an on-ball guy. Simple as that. I don't think they require much more stick skill than each other. The only big difference in these two builds is going to be communication. With the power forward, you're the hedge guy. You have to be communicating rotation to the rest of your team. You have to be communicating to your lockdown, telling them where you're helping, stuff like that. And as a power forward, it's very important. Leadership, again, same thing. Energy, you need both of them to be really, really elite when it comes to that. You need both of them talking a lot. You need and communication is different than talking. I'll just put it like that. Communication is actual verbal things that you're communicating in game that need to be spoken to your team. Energy and hype, man, is you talking like crazy, but in a more energetic way and trying to get your team pumped up. It's nothing to do with actually trying to communicate rotations, what to do mechanically in the game and stuff like that. So anyway, like I said, we're going to start in six skill and work our way over to the right. And I hope you all enjoy. So I think it's very obvious that the bigger you are, the less stick skill it requires. And the smaller you are, the more stick skill it requires. And the more the ball is in your hands as well, it requires a lot more stick. And not to mention shooting. So for small forwards and power forwards, obviously you have to be corner spot ups, which doesn't require much offensive stick skill other than just time a jump shot. And it's really as simple as that for most teams. And now mind you, this isn't real life. This isn't like obviously your team could play different than ours does or not to mention our team doesn't even fit all these categories either but this is just a generalized 2k role selector where shooting guards generally play the wing on offense play the wing on d you have lockdowns at the small forward you have the hedge guys the power forward they both spot up corner with these two builds the center is on corner on defense and he's setting screens and the point guard constantly has a ball in his hands and your shooting guard is working around off ball just stuff like that so everybody knows the roles that are just the general stereotype when it comes to pro-am so just understand that's the stuff we're talking about right here but again stick skill very important for a point guard this is very obvious you have to be a good dribbler a good passer obviously a good shooter simple as that so all that in factored in and not to mention just being a good dribbler isn't enough you need to be able to work good enough with pick and roll you need to dribble good in pick and roll again you have to shoot not just good but you have to get your shots open as well and be able to make shots that are really off dribble or just obviously just kind of out of the box so it's very obvious that with the stick skill you need to be elite when it comes to being a point guard with the shooting guard obviously a little bit lesser of a role offensively but more of a role defensively so stick skill is still factoring in defense as well defense is a little bit less important when it comes to stick skill i feel like you can kind of just load up on the game and as long as you know your job correctly i think you can still play it you do still need to have really good stick compared to other locks though so it's not to say that obviously uh, elite small forward lockdown can't separate himself from a uh, bad small forward lockdown when it comes to stick stick could literally be the one thing that makes some guy really amazing but he could have bad communication bad energy and maybe his composure is super high but it doesn't matter so again this is all importance all of these stars are importance of stick skill communication etc etc so again small forward and power forward stick skill three star i think it's pretty average you don't need to have crazy stick but you still need to shoot corner spot ups and you still need to be able to play really good defense simple as that not to mention passing lanes of the power forward even as a small forward you might be in press game as well which is very important so it's all factoring in it's pretty important for centers i think it's pretty obvious the least important thing for a center is going to be stick skill all of these things are way way more important you still need to have some 100 and again that's not to say that some centers aren't amazingly better at stick skill than others but again a generalized situation of stick skill i don't think it's really important for centers compared to the other four positions right here especially not the guards either so moving on to communication point guards definitely have to call out plays they have to tell people what to do stuff like that conduct the offense however defensive communication is an absolute void it doesn't need to be done so that's why five stars a little bit different now you can make the case for power forwards again the same thing you'd be like well a power forward doesn't have to talk on offense however 
Defensive communication is so, so important as a power forward. This is your honestly biggest role 100 it's bigger than energy it's 100 bigger than leadership and stick skill you need to be a great communicator as a power forward know what to tell people know when to tell them it and all types of stuff like that and predicting as well it's just literally as simple as that you need to know what is going to happen and how to communicate it to your team now you're going to see a shooting guard's role you're going to see it completely diminished when it comes to these verbal things so like communication leadership energy and being a hype man i don't think a shooting guard really needs to be elite at any of these things i think you're going to see the smallest amount of stars is going to be let's say probably the small forward and shooting guard and then center is probably gonna be the next after that but anyway nonetheless just to talk about shooting guards i mean communication it doesn't need to have to be like super high now i will say there is a difference between communication in general 2k iq because what i want to explain is for the general 2k iq a shooting guard needs to be a good scout he needs to be seeing what's going on as the other people are sending heat at your point guard or throwing different looks at him and the shooting guard is scouting things out and telling the point guard what to look for because he can see it from a third person view and the point guard is living in it and he is getting blitzed he is getting all types of different rotations sent at him and stuff like that so general 2k iq is going to be factoring into that communication not as much in my opinion what i consider communication to be is on the fly in the play everything like that and just literally saying do this do that do this do that simple as that it's not game planning or anything like that it's literally just in-game communications and how to get on the fly and fix things as they happen but anyway again very important for a power forward i would say very important for a center too because you can still be the guy who is telling the guard what to do and how to conduct the offense sometimes and what you're looking for as well which again is kind of factored into general 2k iq but either way small forward doesn't really need to be super high but it's still involved defensively and you have to be the guy who is responding and you know receiving the in instructions from the power forward and it has to correspond with that a little bit so communication not super important for small forwards aka lockdowns and really not important for shooting guards at all and then for power forwards it's a premium this is the best thing you need to have this 100 percent leadership now let's talk about this a little bit anybody can be a leader for my opinion i think a small forward the lockdown can be a leader i think the hedge guy can be a leader i think the center and point guard can definitely be leaders shooting guard it can be i don't think it's important though to be honest with you i don't think any, if you were a leader as a shooting guard you'd be a point guard it's literally as simple as that to be honest with you so leadership like i said i think most important in your point guard and center it's just literally the two big heads of the team in my opinion and you know again it can be different for each team but i think this category is pretty basic lockdowns they can be but i don't think they really need to be point guard and center they definitely need to be but you don't i don't want to give it five stars because someone else can step up in that role if it's not a point guard or if it's not a center all right so energy slash hype man we already talked about this for the lockdowns pretty extensively so i won't talk about this too much more just a quick refresher though like i said it's very important important for these guys to be vocal and talking keeping the energy high honestly talking trash about the other team <laughs> it's very important that you keep everybody's energy and kind of happiness in general just at a high when it comes to these two positions and kind of just laughing making jokes and keeping things cool and just controlling the environment that's what the small forward and power forward are very important for because again you are on defense and you want to be the guys that are leading the charge vocally simple as that and again not communication wise it's not as important for the small forward it's definitely important for the power forward so the more the power forward is talking the better i'll just put it like that <laughs> it's literally as simple as that for point guard and center i think it's pretty important but not super important and again for shooting guard all these communication based attributes i don't think they're very important at all so again i want to kind of as we're halfway through this a little bit more remind you guys i'm here to talk about what position are you obviously if you're a quiet guy yet you're pretty good on the sticks and you know a lot of what's going on you could be a good scout i think kitchen fits this role perfectly i think this is literally him 100 i mean composure it's pretty good <laughs> general 2k iq really really good as well he knows what to look for and how to scout it out and communicate it to our point guard he is not quite a hype man and he's definitely not very big in the leadership category either and he doesn't talk very often either at all well now in game a little bit different than his energy i would say for kitchen it's probably like He's a one-star energy, but a three-star communicator. And then stick skill, I would say he's right at the five-star himself or maybe four. So again, this is maybe a beginner's guide to what position they should select or what career path. I know it sounds corny to say that, but what path they should choose in terms of their pursuit of playing pro-am or just fives in general, stuff like that. So anyway, to get back to the point, we're on energy slash hype man. Again, center, it's not super important, but I think you can definitely get stuff done as being a hype man as a center. I think for me personally, my like communication is definitely on the five stars but energy slash hype man maybe more so like a two i don't think i'm that great at getting super energetic and like super excited about things because i'm so focused as like trying to be in the leadership slash communication role and just trying to like communicate everything to people on both sides 
the court. Not all senators have that role though. So like I said, this is just the generalized kind of point of view of stuff. But anyway, general 2K IQ. This is just talking about anything from what other teams are going to do to you, AKA picking up on when they are blitzing, when they're doing certain rotations, what they're doing offensively and how you should stop it, all types of stuff like that. I don't think lockdowns play a big role in changing up what they do on defense depending on what the offense does. I don't think really general 2K IQ matters that much as the lockdowns. I think you load up as a brand new player and this is the best position for you to play. So in terms of general 2K IQ, I think I more so want to say experience playing the game 100%. I don't think experience matters quite as much on lockdowns or power forwards for the hedge D. And again, you can just literally sit in the corner on offense and it's as simple as that. So you don't need it quite as much. For guards though, you need a lot of experience. It's gonna be hard to pick the game up and just come out here and go crazy on your first year of playing 2K. And just in general, there's so much you need to learn especially in a mental state as well. Just you handling what people are doing against you. Now I know maybe that could be composure, but this is more of an emotional thing. This is a mental thing. And you know, just knowing what you have to do to respond to when people are sending a lot of blitzes at you, playing very like off on hedge defense or super high on hedge defense, or just in general, like just 2K general IQ. It's really simple as that. So again, guards, five star, lockdowns two, and center we got three. I think it's neutral, but you don't need it that much. I think it's a little bit more than the small four to power four but it's not like it really a huge deal composure this is a huge one for point guards you 100 need to be able to handle when things are getting rough i mean if you're gonna get on cold and just rage quit the whole game you literally are the guy that the whole team hinges on if you rage quit the game the whole rest of the team rage quits the game it's literally as simple as that i mean if you give up on something it, everybody else is going to give up on it i would say leadership kind of like corresponds to the same thing if this dude's not getting back on d if he's not talking at all if he's not having a good time you're, it's going to just translate to the whole rest of your team so composure is extremely important i think ak is really good with this as well he's really good at just telling everybody to settle down calm down you know, like it's no big deal you know if, if we didn't get a stop on one possession or if we didn't score he's all good he's really good with this stuff right here i think for shooting guards it's kind of important as well obviously like i said it's just kind of the descendant of this where you don't have quite as much of a role in this situation but it's still a little bit important and the reason i say composure is not important for a lockdown or for power forwards and centers is if you get frustrated as a lockdown honestly it's not going to impact your game at all you're not going to play any worse as a lockdown just because you're mad you're frustrated if anything you might even play better it's just like rage and you know just it, it's almost like i would say kind of like a defensive lineman in football whereas as a quarterback your composure matters so much there's nothing being mad or being in rage mode is going to do to you to help your game as a point guard it's so cerebral it's so mental you need to be able to handle a lot of like bs that comes your way and if you can't you're going to crumble it's literally as simple as that whereas a lockdown i don't think it matters at all like literally nearly at all if anything sometimes not having composure might even just make you play better and so that's why i feel like it's really not important at all and then for power forward and center it's not really that important either i don't think it's going to impact your game that much at all to be honest with you so that is my entire position tree what position are you video and I hope you all enjoyed this. I thought this was a really cool concept. I think I did pretty good at explaining all of the trees and stuff like that as well. And again, just to review, if you guys are trying to look at this yourself and maybe self-reflect or see what you maybe need to get better at if you're playing a certain position, again, if you're a power forward and you're maybe playing for your program team and you're not a great communicator and you're not a great energy guy, there's a lot of these that are easily fixed. I think being an energy guy can be easily fixed. I think composure can be easily fixed as well. Leadership, mm, sort of. Communication can definitely be fixed as long as you study the game a little bit and understand what's going on in the videos that I maybe upload and stuff like that as well. I think that could play a pretty big factor and just knowing like what to look out for and stuff like that. Stick skill, it all comes with time and repetition. It's literally as simple as that. So if you're a point guard that maybe lacks stick skill or general 2K IQ, again, just play the game longer. It's literally as simple as that to fix this. Uh, obviously, some of these are personality traits like composure, energy, leadership, and communication. I think the only thing on 2K strictly is going to be stick skill and general 2K IQ pretty simple as that so just again feel free to just read this stuff over if you want to help me out from the youtube algorithm if you want to just like look at this stuff maybe rewind the video because watch time will help a little bit but again feel free to just check this all over and see what you think about all this and feel free to leave your feedback too let me know if you think one of these requires more stars and maybe i'm biased by my team or something like that but anyway that's all video if you made it to the end put position or pos in the comments so it supports me all the way through other than that, I hope you all enjoyed. And I don't think there will be any type of part two to this. I think this is a pretty like one time video. You're never going to like duplicate this or anything like that. So just keep that in mind. Maybe we'll do it every year though for Pro-Am. I don't know. We'll see. But anyway, that's all video. Hope you all enjoyed. Other than that, take these man. Peace.